My name is Tyler from Representing Sweet Sentiment. I hope everybody's having fun so far today on this, on the live hop. This has been so much fun um, getting to see all the different projects that are going on for International Scrapbooking Day. So what I have put together for today is I have put together, I don't have a sample to show you. First off, <laughs> um, but I will. We will have a sample by the end of this because that's what we're putting together. Um, so normally, I'm traditionally a card maker, but I have a love for all things Disney. So one of the neat things that Sweet Sentiment has um, that we've come out with this year is every month we have a new floral, and so I actually put on the Floral Fridays once a month to kind of show everybody how our florals go together. One of the neat things about our florals, they're very different from others companies because we they're very simple. They're very approachable. It's something that anybody and everybody can do. So, but one of the things when I saw the pansy is I saw a certain movie genre and with my love for Disney and with obviously having pictures. So I have a scrapbook page layout put together to go to use um, our, our pansies, but then I'm also turning them into changing that up slightly so that we can see um, how they would go and um, other ways to use them to make to alter them. Very easy alterations that make them look a little bit different. And so what we're actually going to do today is we're going to do a squinty-eyed version of it. So we're not even drawing in the eyes or anything. So we're just using straight. So I, did a, I went ahead and colored the big background image just because I was worried about time. And then I'm going to do the two front pieces because that's where some of the alterations more are. So one of the, um, and just to start off with, I'm using Sweet Sentiment coloring paper, um, which you can buy on the website. Um, if you notice, if you haven't worked with it before, it's a love, it's a great paper to work with, but you'll notice there's also a slight sparkle in the actual paper there's a mica that's ingrained into the paper it's an off-white color so it does give you the ability it sets things off um just enough to where where that off-white so that your coloring really does stand out oh yeah so yeah roberta this is um these are actually on the website also um so it holds a lot of things we use five color blends for a lot of the stuff that, that i color so it has your five color, your spot for your five colors, and then these two front ones you'll see here in just a second can actually hold your caps. So then, especially when doing lives and stuff, people can see what the caps are, and it makes it easier um, to see the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to work on this the two petal flower right here. Um, this, in, I, if I've skipped over it, this is the Pretty Pansy set. It's available on the website. Um, currently, you can buy the stamp, the stamp and die. And then also, before I forget, it's in the description, but there is a coupon code that Sweet Sentiment so graciously given out to do 15% off in honor of International Scrapbooking Day. And the code is ISD... 2022. So ISD 2022. And it's good for today. And it's good for today and tomorrow. And for those of you that have not been on one of my lives before, I have my lovely wife, Cameron, who's off to the side. So if you hear another voice, I'm not going crazy. There is somebody else in the room. So what I'm going to do is, on the back flowers, I did a lot more of a shadow. On the front, I'm not going to do as much because we want our our face to stand out. I do still want to leave a shadow though because without the darkness, there's no there you can't there's no contrast. So I'm going to put just a little bit of this dark BVOA right here in the middle, and that's it.
Hello, everybody. Yes, yes, it's my split personality. So, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to bring out my BV-17. I am going to go a little bit quicker than I normally would just because... I'm worried about time. I am gonna try to, I'm gonna do both of these at the same time. So I'm gonna start putting some of our shadow over here also. Well, I'm glad you could join us and um, I do, I try to do at least one live a month over in the Sweet Sentiment Stamps and Friends Facebook group where I go over the flower for the month and kind of show you how it all goes together. So love to have everybody. Um, So yeah, we're just using soft brush strokes, pulling out some of our color. Um, one of the things I like most about flowers is you can, um, kind of like Lydia said, uh, which really cracked me up um, with her comment about um, the only perfection is only for serial killers. It's one of the things I love about doing flowers is that they don't have to be perfect because there's no perfect flowers in nature, so. So you will see as I go through this, um, especially if you're new to coloring, I will say this for your benefit. Don't be afraid to rotate your paper. Don't be afraid to move it. You are going to get much better results if you're comfortable. So don't try to think that you have to sit here and do it and be uncomfortable and not enjoy what you're doing. And you'll find what works best for you with doing your brush strokes. Some days, I can do them coming, coming, I can do my brush strokes coming towards me. Some days it's going away from me. Some days it doesn't matter. So this is our BV31. And so up to this point, these are the the five colors I use to color this top one. <laughs> I am going to throw one more color in here just because I try to make these a little bit lighter. I tried to be sneaky, Jamie. <laughs> Can you grab me my battery? Yeah. Hope this paper is So now the last thing I'm gonna do to, or well not the last thing, in terms of coloring the base of these. One more thing I'm going to do. Sorry, I realized right before I went live that my battery for my glue gun was dead, so I was trying to give it a little bit of juice so I could use it. Um, the last thing we're gonna do is I am gonna include, I'm using V20, and I'm gonna come back from the outside 
and completely go back down in. And this is just gonna lighten up the outside of our petal. So is everybody enjoying their International Scrapbook Day and getting some time or an excuse to craft today if we need if you needed one? There we go. And I've now realized I never came back and dealt with my little, um, I don't know what you want to call them. <laughs> These two little pieces on my pansy. All right. So now for my, if you want to call it alteration line work, I'm going to use my darkest color. So I'm going to use my BV08. Yeah, Lauren, I'm in Central Florida, so I feel your pain. Um, it was like 85 already this morning when I like quickly went out, so... It's up in the 90s now, so the spring is definitely over, the, the like week we had of it. <laughs> so now I'm going to take, and I, I don't want you to be afraid of this next part. Um, we're just going to take and draw some simple lines. So I'm going to bring a line up here and a line up here. Imagine those are our I our eyebrows. I'm going to follow these bottom lines here, kind of like a frowl line or um, something along those lines. And then I'm going to come out a little ways on this next one and not go in. And this is going to be where our actual, like our eyebrow or not our eyebrow, like our actual eye would be. So envision, so the intent here is these are, um, squinting so that you're not going to actually see their eye. So that's where we're going with that. Maybe. There we go. And then now I'm going to take this next one. I'm going to turn it around so I'm, it's looking at me. And I like to take this bottom, this little circle, right, or the, like semicircle here, and turn that into my mouth. And then also just to give some more striation, I put like one more line coming out here. And that's all of our coloring. So now I'm going to zoom out slightly so I have a little more room to work with here. And through the magic of television and it's also Technicolor because it changed colors also. I have one that I already colored in orange. that I'm gonna show you in terms of. All right. I have leaves. I have a stack of leaves, Jamie. But I, can, I will color a leaf really quick. So 
So for the leaves, I used G29, G16, G09, YG07, and YG13. No, I have leaves. I just, no, 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 you didn't miss me coloring them. I didn't, <laughs> those were all pre-colored. Um, so for the leaves, I just kind of take and I take my darkest color and I go over all the artist drawn lines for the, the veins. Also, full disclosure for leaves, I go very quickly because you're only going to see a little bit of it. So now I'm just going to take, go down my color blend and just start bringing out my color. This will also give my glue gun another minute to finish warming up. So that was our G16. Move on to my G09. This is where you really see your color start to come kind of all blend together is with this G09. YG07. YG13. So now back to building our flower. For this, you're just going to want a simple water bottle. So I just have a simple water bottle, clear, just regular water, something soft. So like I, as, um, something spongy and then um, just a simple ball tool. The other nice thing about how we're going to do these, I mean, you can use the top of your pear blossom press gel pen. You can use a Sharpie. You can use a glue stick. You can use all kinds of things. You just want something round that can kind of give you a little bit of shape. Thanks, guys. Yeah, they're... I love these flowers. They, they, they're nice open images, so they're fun to color. So what I'm going to do off screen, obviously, is I'm taking my water bottle, I'm gonna turn all of my petals over and I'm just gonna give them a very quick spritz. So I had them on the back, sprayed them quickly with water. Now I'm gonna turn them all back over. What that's doing is just slightly loosening up the fibers of the paper so that we can then come in with whatever tool we're using and just kind of give them a cup shape. Same thing on both sides. I go around the outside and then kind of pull it together. With the bottom or the lip portion, I just kind of go around the two sides separately. And then I try to show, um, deepen up the two circles some. And then on the back piece where this is kind of more, you want, I want, I try to leave this one a little bit flatter because it's, it's what your base is. So I'm not going to actually go in the petals. I'm just going to go around the outsides just to give it some cupped shape to it. All right. 
So now I'm going to take my glue gun. And I'm going to glue, put a little dollop of glue right behind the mouth. Yeah, just spritzing it with just a little bit of water allows it to kind of loosen up the fibers enough to where you can then manipulate it. I'm going to then put it on my middle piece. And then we're going to put a little more glue right there. And then that's going to go right in the middle. And there's our cute little flower. And then with the leaves, I don't, I don't really, I don't do anything, I don't get crazy or anything with them. And I normally don't even do them until I'm actually putting them on the, like on my project so that I know which way I want them to tr curl. But I just take something round and just curl the leaf a little bit just to give it a little bit of life. But yeah, I guess to quickly talk you through this one, all I did here is before I started coloring, I just drew in two tiny ovals with a co so with a Copic multiliner, mainly so that I wouldn't lose track of where I wanted the eyes to be. And that way I would be able to go back in and have the eyes. So what I have prepared to put these on I'm going to clear up some of my workspace and I, I apologize because you might not be able to see the entire piece. There we go. I guess you can. So I just found this pretty watercolory background. Um, in my stash of paper that's all behind me that I, so I can only imagine where it actually came from. Um, it's Joanne's. From Joanne's. And then there's some, um, so I have some pictures. Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm, I, my family loves Disney. We're close to Disney. Um, so I have kind of started, so I've started laying out where I want some of this stuff. Um, so as you can see, this is back during our one of our trips during COVID. So that's why there's there's still masks. But this is this is my daughter. So this is one of, from one of our trips. She was devastated when this was as close as she could get to to characters because she was raised going to the parks. Um, I'm using barely art glue. to lay these down. I've already matted them on some craft paper. Um, barely art glue is another thing you can get in the shop. So WJ, I am in um, Central Florida. So I'm in Claremont. I don't know if that's, so I'm west of Orlando. No, east of Orlando, sorry. Pfft. No, I'm sorry. I was right the first time and I should have just trusted myself, but you know, it's just one of those days. <laughs> it is the best glue ever, in my opinion. I know everybody's had Oh.
So I'm just putting. Jimmy said you could use your espresso to do that too. I could. I could use my espresso. I just didn't want to use an espresso that people can't currently buy. But there are espressos in the shop also. I just don't think this color is in the shop. As you can see, there might be a thing for orange at my craft desk. So. Laura, it's the Pretty Pansy stamp set from Sweet Sentiment. Stole it, sorry. Get it right in the corner. <laughs> this is what it looks like. So it's, um, please forgive mine, it's been used quite a bit, but this is, it's the Pretty Pansy. So, and it's from Sweet Sentiment. So I've got my two pictures laid out. I'm actually gonna put this up here. I cut this out on my Cricut cause I couldn't find anything that I liked exactly. So I just cut it out of um, adhesive back paper and then use transfer tape to put it down. And then I still use hot glue to put down my flowers just because it's, it dries so quickly and I don't have to sit here and fuss with it. Debbie G, I may have to come over and craft with you in real life because, you know, you're close to the beach and I'm all about that, so. So now I'm just kind of putting my, my leaves in. Oh, Debbie J's in Stanford. Oh, I thought she's, oh. Debbie J, I drive up your way five days a week because I work in Lake Mary, so. <laughs> She said she's south of Daytona. Mm. Right, I'm gonna put this one down here. So I work off of International Parkway. I work in the what I affectionately call the insurance corner of Lake Mary. <laughs> yeah, we're our our real jobs that pay the bills yeah. jobs. Um, we do insurance <laughs> in our house. It's one of those you don't find insurance, insurance finds you. Um, so this is our fun jobs. But yeah. So Thank you everybody for joining me. I this has been lots of fun. I thanks to Amanda for putting and Pear Blossom Press for putting this together. Um, I will finish fussing with this page and then I will show it off at the Zoom that is. <laughs> well. And so yeah, I will finish fuss, um, putting all these together and then kind of playing with it. And then I will show everybody tonight or I guess not tonight, later this afternoon. <laughs> so thank you everybody for joining. Um, I greatly appreciate it. This has been tons of fun. And next you're hopping over to Heffy Doodle and the, the links down in the description. 
I hope everybody has a great rest of the afternoon. Thanks. Bye.